Bournemouth and that, that game just seven weeks away now. Now that the fixtures are out and it's all kind of crystal clear, how uh, how focused has that made everyone on the challenge ahead? It does, yeah. I mean, as soon as the fixtures come out, it was you know it's really exciting. You look at you know who've got the opening day, who've got Boxing Day, New Year's Day, around your birthdays. Um, but no, I mean, it's, it's going to be exciting. Every game's going to be exciting. It's a different challenge. It's it's one that we're really looking forward to. And, and as we said last season, um, I think we'll bring a freshness to the league. I don't think we'll sit back on our the edge of our box and let teams come on to us. I think we'll go and attack it and. We'd rather go down fighting, let's be honest, than sit on the edge of the box and get beat. We might as well go and have a go at people and if they're going to beat us and they're better than us, then fair enough, we'll hold our hands up. But I don't think you'll see us this season, not by the want of trying, but I don't think we'll be sitting off teams and, and letting them play however they want to play. What was the first fixture you looked for? Uh, it was quite funny actually, it was the Burnley fixture which actually lands... We play Burnley away on my birthday, which for me is obviously <laughs> ideal. Um, but no, that, obviously being from Burnley and stuff, and going back and playing there in the Premier League will be will be something special. Um, and obviously the Man United fixture for me, having come through the academy as a kid, um, obviously hoping to walk out of Old Trafford will be a special occasion as well. At, at three promotions in, in three years, how much are you looking forward now to, to making your mark <laughs> on the Premier League? It's nice, obviously. I was actually saying to my wife the other day, it's nice that uh, you know I'm going in uh, into a pre-season as a Premier League footballer and um, preparing for a Premier League season, not going back to playing the Championship. Um, but no, I, en- I enjoyed the three promotions, enjoyed every single one of them. It was it was good times, but you know it's it's even better now to be preparing and knowing that you know the teams we're going to be playing against and you know preparing for that Premier League is is something special. Obviously, there'll be all sorts of rumours and speculation about recruitment, but in terms of the squad that Sheffield United have now, just how capable is it of, of making a challenge in the Premier League, do you feel? I don't think we've got enough for 11 aside at the minute. So um, <laughs> we'll see on that one. But no, as players, obviously, we're just, as, we're just the same as you. We, we read things in the newspapers, you see things on social media. We're, we're none the wiser to, to what's actually happening until somebody walks in that door and walks in the dressing room. So for us... You know, we've got a real tight-knit group here anyway. Uh, I think it's something that the gaffers had the last three years, especially the last couple of seasons with the promotions. Um, the core of the groups here, I think we've got the lads on internationals come back. I think they're back tomorrow, so, you know, once they're back, it'll be, it'll be full steam ahead. And um, as I say, it'd be nice, obviously, once we get the squad together and we've got seven weeks to, to prepare for Bournemouth. And, and that unity that you've had throughout the last 12 months and, and before, obviously, when Chris Wilder's been here, just how important is that going to be in, in this uh, campaign coming up? Oh, massively. I mean, we're going to have some tough afternoons, aren't we? Let's be honest. Um, playing against some of the best teams in the world, the best players in the world. But, you know, as, as players, that's where you want to be. You want to be testing yourself. You want to be see if you can be as good as them, see if you can, you know, beat them. It's, it's why we all play football. It's the dream as a, as a young boy is to play in the Premier League against... These, these world-class stars uh, and give it the best shot and I'm sure the fans will appreciate that we, we'll give it everything um, as I say we, if a team beats us because they've got world-class players sometimes you've got to hold your hands up but it won't be for the want of for hard work or, or trying to do everything we can to win games of football and you know this football club the last three years is it doesn't matter what level you're at it, it's got a winning mentality um, and that'll take us a long way this season just finally, who are you most looking forward to, to coming up against uh, in a one-on-one situation in the Premier League next season? I'm not too fussed, to be honest. I've played against the best in the world anyway at international level. So, to me, they're, they're all the same. We're all human beings. We've all got two arms and legs. and It's what it is, isn't it?